So we have our 2005 Ford Excursion here, six liter, uh, slight loss of coolant. So what I did was I left the uh, pressure tester on it all night, pumped it up the cooling system pressure, let it sit, uh, dropped very, very slightly. So I went around the outside of the engine, looked for leaks at all the, all the uh, obvious leak points, nothing leaking to the outside. Now this thing was here for a couple of days and I started it in the morning and I did, wasn't getting any excess uh, condensation out of the pipe. So uh, the coolant's going somewhere and the most likely uh, scenario is that we have a blown EGR cooler. So when they're in the initial stages and they have just a, a slight leak, slight crack in them, they're pretty hard to diagnose. But what I do is I'll bring the engine up to operating temperature to kind of dry things out in there and uh, because you will get condensate when you fire these things up you know part of the combustion process is h2o so you want to make sure that it's it's uh, the engine's uh, at operating temperature so i got it at operating temperature i have a little bit of pressure on the cooling system about 9 psi and uh, what i'm going to do with the scan tool is i'm going to close the turbo and i got the egr valve out and we're going to look down the, the little hole there where the EGR plugs in and see if we have any coolant coming out of there. And it won't look like coolant, it's gonna be black and ugly looking, but uh, let's go ahead and fire this thing up and do that. Okay, so as you can see, that's pretty definitive there. Uh, we've got quite a bit of coolant coming out of there. And uh, I think it's leaking a little worse than it was when it came in because I left cooling system pressure on it, hell, almost all day yesterday and then overnight last night. So we probably might have opened that up a little bit. But uh, anyway, you know, it's the cooler, so we're going to be tearing it down and putting a cooler on it. They did also have a... Uh, well, the EGR valve is un unplugged, so I think we were having a carbon issue out of the cooler. Uh, you know, chunks of carbon holding it open, so he unplugged it. But uh, we'll make sure that works when we get it put back together. The other thing, too, is you heard the, uh, I don't know if you heard the squeak or not, when after I started it, you heard the VGT adjust. So if we've had a lot of condensation going through that VGT, you know, it's going to, it's probably stuck because we had a P0299. I'm, I'm not even going to bother to test the map sensor because, I mean, it's pretty obvious what's going on here. So we're going to whip this thing apart real quick. Uh, we'll pop turbo apart, clean it all up, make sure everything's working there, and then uh, put a new EGR cooler in it, a couple new gaskets here and there, and, and uh, change the oil in it. And uh, the reason you want to change the oil is because, you know, when you're doing a, a hot soak, you know, or an overnight so you pull up there, the engine's hot. You're going to be getting condensation, especially on the bank one over here. The cooler comes off the bank one up pipe. You're going to get condensation inside the cylinder, and that condensation is, you know, water basically. It's going to collect in there through an open exhaust valve, and it's going to, you know, run down the cylinder wall and, and uh, put uh, coolant in your basically in your oil so and you don't want that so we'll go ahead and do an oil change on it too a filter so uh this thing does have some few mods mods on it man 
So we're running uh, Ham's oil filter, bypass filter, uh, sinister diesel kit here, coolant filter. Got our little cap there for the for the uh, the way this works is it bypasses some of the oil, you know, as it comes out of the around the outside of the filter and collects up in the top of the cap here. Shoot it down this line here uh, in through the filter and then out of the filter. I'm not sure which one's which. It should come in this side and go out this side, and then it it uh, blows it out the, the uh, filler cap right there. So if you have one of these, don't forget to. Before you start it, make sure you have that filler cap on there because, you know, I, speaking from experience here, I made a, made a mess, you know, once. It, it only takes once and then you remember. But uh, anyway, so let's get this thing tore apart and get the uh, uh, EGR cooler out of it and put a new one in there and we'll clean the turbo and everybody will be happy. So I need to apologize here. I realize there's a lot of people out there that love these excursions, especially with a diesel in them, uh, six liter or seven three. So let's take a tour just to make you guys happy. So this is a pretty nice one. It came out of California. It's She's an Eddie Bauer, so she's pretty much loaded. And it's actually in really nice shape. Uh, not Not a bunch of oil leaking out of it and all that kind of crap. So, uh, let's look at the interior here. Get my glasses on so I can see. So she's got cow skin interior. Uh, looks like a, a brown color. It almost looks black, but it's brown and, you know, tan inserts. And she's got, uh, well, should have another seat in there. But anyway, so on this, uh, you could probably, boy, those... It's pretty nice seats in this thing. They're in good shape too. On this, you could probably go to Walmart and get yourself one of those partitions behind the uh, front seats here. And these seats fold down. I, I think they might even come out, or that one probably comes out. But anyway, you could fold these seats down. They'll fold down pretty flat. And you could probably get, I'm going to say, four goats comfortably. But... Uh, you might be able to get six in there if you kind of stacked them. And the, the reason you want the partition up here is because you don't want, you know, the goat nibbling on your ear. And this thing is loaded. It's got, you know, the rear HVAC. So, you know, in the in the winter and in the summer, you can keep your goats cool and warm. So um, be good for that. I forgot to look to see how many miles this had on it. I know I clocked it in, but I didn't, I don't remember. Let's see what kind of mileage we got here. Oh, 149, 617. Well, that's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. It's in really, really exceptional shape. You know, I mean, we got a little bit of wear on the armrest here, but uh, you could get that fixed. This one here is starting to crack too. Yeah, if you don't uh, treat this leather, I mean, this is going to get a lot of wear because you're going to have your elbows on these. You know when you're driving because it's comfortable but uh, you should probably treat these seats you know monthly so that they don't uh, you know keep them supple and all that but uh, anyway typical super duty door panel but yeah she's she's a nice one I'm not really a fan of excursions I mean this is a big son of a bitch I would have no use for it but if you got a big family or you need to haul a lot of goats in the back and you want to keep them dry warm and cool in the summertime then uh, this might be the rig for you I mean there's still a lot of these out there and, and for the most part people have taken care of these because they were you know it was a basically a big old station wagon that'll pull a freaking d9 cat down the road so uh, but they generally took pretty good care of them so you can still find a lot of nice ones and, and these trucks are completely completely rebuildable i mean you can rebuild anything you want on this truck make it all brand new if you wanted to so um they are kind of a cool rig but uh not my cup of tea but anyway there you go